Hi, my name is Chip Copper and I'm a solutioner with Brocade. And a topic of interest among our customers recently has been fiber channel over Ethernet. Now, the fact that customers are interested in this shows a couple of interesting things. First of all, it shows that in the data center, the protocol of choice for moving data back and forth between applications and storage devices is fiber channel. And there's no doubt about that today. So fiber channel over Ethernet actually reinforces something that Brocade has known for a long time. And that is that storage network is best accomplished using a deterministic, reliable transport like fiber channel. So the next question is what sort of mechanism are we going to use to move fiber channel traffic back and forth? And fiber channel as a native protocol will continue to be here for the foreseeable future. It has a long roadmap ahead of it and we're seeing not only an improvement in speed but also an increase in the functions and features that are available. But we're also seeing an interest now in going with other types of transports, in particularly uh, taking the fiber channel protocol and moving it over Ethernet. Well, Ethernet as it stands right now really isn't well suited to storage traffic and so we have to enhance it by making it lossless and deterministic and reliable. And that's where we see fiber channel over Ethernet prove to be such a, a technology that provides such great promise. Now, do we think that the world is going to change the fiber channel over Ethernet? Probably not. We think that there are going to be some places that just as with iSCSI and with NAS, there will be applications that lend themselves very well to fiber channel over Ethernet. In other cases, fiber channel over Ethernet may not make sense. And finally, we have to address the issue of convergence. Does it make sense for me to combine storage traffic and other types of traffic, for example, IP traffic carrying peer-to-peer -peer networking or client-server networking? Does it make sense to combine those onto single transmission media? And the answer is, in some instances, yes, it does. It makes very good business cases. But in other instances, maybe not. So I'd encourage you, if you're considering some sort of combining of storage traffic and peer-to-peer -peer client server, some sort of convergence strategy, talk to us at Brocade about our experiences and we'll help you best decide when it makes sense to use a combined strategy and when it may make sense to use not only a separate transport for your storage traffic, but also when Ethernet may and may not turn out to be the best transport to do that on.